Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. Today I'm here with a massive haul video from numerous thrift stores, bookstores, and actually one from eBay. But also my daughter finally was able to give me my Christmas present. She ordered it from Amazon. It took forever, of course, and it went to her house instead of mine. So anyways, let's start with her gift because it's so funny. Um, she bought me this reusable sticker book, which I thought was hilarious because I hoard stickers like many of us do. And um, this made me laugh so hard. It says, I'm going to use these stickers one day and other lies I tell myself. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, and so these pages are really, they're like silicone based. And so you can stick your stickers on here. Like this is the one that it came with that she stuck on there for me. And you can keep sticking it. And so this is still sticky. I should be able to use that on a project. So I thought that would be fun. One day I will spend going through my sticker stash, put all my treasure stickers in here, and we will use them this year. So it won't be a lie, right? That'll be funny. All right. So also she gave me this cute little organizer thing here with two little drawers. And then it has a top section here that is divided up into six so two, three, four, five, six pieces. And inside, she's loaded it up for me. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I laughed so hard because I was telling her about all the different things that I liked from the, the bookstore we went into together. And um, so this has a little envelopes that are made out of paper and then little note papers and they're kind of textured. Super, super fun. I'm excited to of course use these oh i love that it says i love you oh my gosh and they're already collaged and beautiful and so this whole little drawer here is full of stuff and then underneath of it are bigger pieces of paper and i was like oh my gosh i would love to have a book with like old wildflowers and she's just laughing at me going mom you should have opened my gift up <laughs> now these are papers which are awesome because you know you can use them and not feel bad about it because it's not the original but i just thought Girl, you nailed it. You nailed it this year. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And they're like sapia and they're more creamy and then brownish. So anyways, all of these fun little papers we'll get to play with. And I'm not sure if I'm going to leave all of these things in this drawer. I might have to do a little bit more organizing because I do have to bend the big papers to get it in here from the handle. Anyways, in this top drawer, she also got me the Sensu Garden Book of Plants. And there, there's a lot of reds in here, so I'm not, not too excited about that. But I do like that they're watercolor. And again, these are a fun texture. They aren't, they got to be from China. I mean, I'm sorry, but <laughs> they're watercolor floral material. All right. Um, yeah, so it feels really nice in the hand, but there's a lot of pretty florals in here. And then this is all of the stickers. So she went ahead and separated everything out for me. So this had the papers and the small envelopes and things like that. And then she left all of the stickers in here for me. So I thought that was really sweet of her to do. And they're really nice. You can just use, you know, whichever one you want. See, ticket to anywhere. Super adorable. And they're green, so they can go on like every project, right? So good choice for her. All right, done, done bragging on my daughter and her Christmas gift. All right. So I got to reorganize my desk to be able to have this next to me thrift store find. So I think I went to five thrift stores. So first of all, I got this one right here. This is a really cute looking, I think I might bring it in a little bit more. Really cute flo uh, floral birdhouse wallpaper. Thought that was cute. And then I got this old sales book and it has um, thank you call again. They're like really old little slips. And of course it has the, the slip you keep and the slip you would give your customers. Those would be fun to use. Um, this is a information's record. So this is an address insert. Not terribly old, but I just thought it was something different that I don't have that I could use. So all of those were 50 cents, so score there. And then I grabbed this roll. This um, was a dollar. It is decorative wall border. It is also, it says pre-pasted, washable and strippable. This is um, wallpaper as well. I don't I, I don't know. It's, it's called Timeless Tradition. It's made in Canada. It looks really creamy, really ivory, a little bit of greens in it. Um, I don't know what pre-pasted means. I guess we'll find out. So I got that. And I also picked up some of these cute little laces out of a bin. Um, I think they charged me, yeah, like 50 cents a piece. I like this one because it's fatter and it's, of course, creamish ivory color. I got this amazing butterfly stamp isn't it gorgeous there's three butterflies and florals and 
it's huge it's like my biggest uh, my biggest one so I gotta put that in my stamp drawer I also got this little set here for two dollars it's taped or I'd open it but it has another butterfly and then it has a postal thing here sorry for the glare guys and then a floral and some scripts so that'll be I'll probably use that one a lot it's from 2005 this one is nothing this one must be like a oh, there's something on there I don't know 95 for this for this one but I don't know where it comes from and then there's a little robin that says sing and then the word says gentle thoughts of you super cute and let's see here what else did I get oh yes these aren't these gorgeous three embroidered handkerchiefs and they have a rose embroidery design and there's um, and they're white so I might copy dye one we'll see how we go um, and they were from Walmart they were originally five bucks score 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 can't can't say enough about all the places we went had so much fun I got this bundle of fun laces that is even tied with lace. I thought that was a cool idea that the thrift store did. Um, and that was $1.50, so win there. Also picked up this gorgeous little pack of bags. So I wanted to open this because I want to see what the bag feels like. Oh, yeah. So, like, glassine bags, they have a fun top. And, of course, nice little crinkle. And they're a teal color with this kind of floral fabric not fabric, floral vine design. So there's tons of them in here and there's actually two packs of these for $3. I just grabbed one um, and it doesn't tell you how many, but there's, there's a lot. So these will be going into basically every journal from here on out <laughs> until they're gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna get sick of seeing those, I tell you what. Uh, nice, um, I found some multiplication worksheets, old cards. I was watching Gail Augustinelli go through her like card collection, like playing cards and other cards. And I was like, yeah, I don't have any cards. So I found these and I was pretty happy with that. What else do we have over here? Oh, this huge thing here of lace. This was $3.50 and I don't, this is trimming for the home. It's really, really fine trimming here and then this in the back is a fat lace which I'm really happy about because I don't have hardly any fat lace this is white so I will probably um coffee diet uh but yeah excited for that I think I keep saying that I also found this too this is a Victorian lace frame and I thought wow that is definitely a treasure and I just like the lady's face in here so I'll be able to use the packaging and the applique and it might I was thinking about putting it on my treasure journal, but my treasure journal is cream and ivory. So this will probably go perhaps on my next faith journal that I need to make soon. I got a whole bunch of different doilies. I got royal lace ones here, and then there's some other fun ones in this pack. Really, really pretty design. Something I also don't have in my stash. I always like it when I find different doilies than the Wilton ones. Like this, Wilton. <laughs> but I don't have pink ones. And there's little bitty pink ones. Oh, perfect. Valentine's Day special. Although that's over now. But you can use pink. This baby lovely pink. It's just so pretty. And then these ones were really neat. These are 12 inch. Um, it says nine lace doilies. So I don't know how many are left. But... Um, they were 50 cents so there's there's probably three or four but I, I just thought they were really cool so different shape anyways um okay so more doilies we're gonna go into these ones these ones are the score of the century there are four of them and they are going to be awesome for coffee dyeing they are plastic and I was so happy my daughter was like mom you were crazy so there's this pattern in in um they're all the same pattern but this one is already looks like it's coffee dyed and then there's a white so I have four, so I think there's five of these. So nine doilies that I'll be able to use for coffee dyeing. So I'm really happy with those. Oh, because I was looking on eBay, Amazon, and I just didn't want to get the wrong type of doily dyeing thing. And the rest of my doilies, like this one is a rose, and this one is another rose. And he charged me, I think, 50 cents for each one of these little doilies. This one's round. How cute though, huh? Here's another rose. So pretty. And then this one... Yep, 50 cents. This is like a crocheted one. Just super sweet. Oh, this one. Treasure for sure. Look at that butterfly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I think it's so adorable. Um, but somebody suggested that I scan these before I use them. I thought that was a great idea. I haven't actually scanned any of my stuff. And this one is, this is JD. Look, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look, it's Australia. I know there's other creators on YouTube that come from Australia. Like, um... Shinuki Arts. I love watching her too. She does a lot of cool mixed media, but oh, isn't that just 
fantastic. I loved it. Designed in Australia by, uh, I don't know, H-E-I-L, Heil. Um, re regular design. I just love it. I love it. I don't, <clears throat> I don't see myself actually using this because it's just, it just reminds me of her, even though her favorite color is blue. But I think, I don't know. I don't know. I might just tuck it into a pocket into one of the journals that I got from her. Um, I, I would hate to, I would hate to cut it up. So anyways, there's that. And I also got another big doily here. Oh my goodness. This one's just a regular crocheted one. This one's gorgeous. Somebody made like a star pattern and I love the coloring in there with the purple and the teal. <laughs> this is a big, well it's not big, but it's a pretty decent sized handkerchief with a little like tulip design on the edge. So that'll be fun to use. Probably going to have to copy dye it. And then these are a dollar fifty, and I think yeah, they're like little lacy designs, and they're fabric, and there's two of them. So that was a that was a fun little adventure there. Okay, so that's all my stuffs, minus the books. Okay, so here we're gonna go into the book section. This was fifty cents. This is a doodle pad, pencil chalk crayon from 1987, and basically it feels similar to construction paper slash newspaper. And I don't have any of this type of paper in my stash. It's already like got a nice edge around it, golden yellow. So that was a score. And I also picked up this Bottle Rush USA. Um, this was $2.50. And I loved it because it had this inside. First of all, it's the first thing I flipped to, which is like the original, like go here for this page. But they have all kinds of different bottles and then they tell you what they were used for. Uh, let's see here. Here, let's see what this owl one here. Um, it just says trademark on the bottom. It looks like maybe a sewing thing, but it just says trademark. Oh, then medical. It tells you it's a medical bottle. It tells you the size and tell you that it was clear, a clear bottle. So the one right here next to it was an amber color. And then so, I mean, this will be fun to use in junk journals as well. Um, sorry for snipples. Let's see here. Let's go with this pile first because it's the one closest to me. So some of these books had prices and some of them were just whatever hardbound books were. And I got them all from, let me zoom you out a bit. I got them all from different thrift stores, but I can tell you which ones came from the bookstore. So this is a collected book of poems and it's really, really old looking font. And I just love the florals in here. Some are colored, some are black and white. And of course they're poems. So I, I like that. I like adding stuff like that to my collection. Here's the lady that wrote it. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Helen Steiner Rice. Um, and then this book is gorgeous too. I don't care for the red, but um, the outside of it is a really pretty blue teal color. Alrighty. And this one, I was really happy when I found this. This is a book of herbs. I don't have any herb books. Gosh, that might be a little bit too much, isn't it? Let's zoom back in. Okay. So this is a book of herbs and they are kind of yellowed around the edge and there's, yes, yeah, see, look at that. I love things like this. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to try to pronounce any of these, um, but I found garlic in here. Like there's some pretty colored ones a little bit here and there, but most of them are black and white. And I like that. See, this one's going this direction and then it flips and it goes back the other direction. And I just like that. This is my type of old stuff. Oh, there's some bugs. Maybe not using the bugs. Um, yeah, so that was a really fun find. And this is Encyclopedia Illustrated Encyclopedia of Herbs. At one point it was $7.82. I think I paid a dollar for it, maybe. Okay, here is a decorating home book. Um, I have two other ones that are kind of similar to this, but it has some really pretty imagery in here. And I and I know they're like glossy. But I just I just love looking at things like this. I don't know. It's kind of granny chic, shabby chic, um, fancy. It reminds me of stuff you might see like in a palace or a museum. Look at that. Gorgeous pillows. Even the writing in the background of this has a floral pattern in the background on that page itself. So this will be a fun book to go through. Um, don't care for that. but um, And pull out some pages to use in my treasure journal like those flowers so pretty oh my goodness okay this one was funny here because I have the same book 
and there was one that was identical to the one I have, which I'll reach down here and grab, which is this one. This is the one that I had. I paid a dollar for it. But they bound the company bound the book in upside down. So when I opened it with the cover the right direction, this was flipped around. And I almost bought it because it was like that. It was it was hilarious. But I have this many pages left to use in this particular book. So I saw this one underneath of it and it said updated. And I thought, well, they look the same on the cover. Let's see what's different. And when I opened it, this one's the right direction. When I opened it, the coloring is different. So the, the oranges in here are a little bit more um, orangey. Let's see if I can find an orange section. Oop, there was some. The coloring is just a slight bit different. You probably can't tell on camera. Um, and the greens are more teal. The pictures are more vibrant. Um, even the paper feels different. It's like a glossy paper. So I was kind of bummed out, but I wanted to have this because I really enjoy using this book. I like the direction they go. And um, yeah, so I got that. I'm running out of space. And then I have this one. Anytime I see these kind of books, I grab them because they have some really fun pages in the back that I go through and I cut them all out like these and I make my flower cards out of them and I don't feel bad I don't feel bad it's really hard to choose a side like you gotta pick do you want these two <laughs> or do you want these two and so that's kind of the decision so it's nice that it, if you get another book you can go and cut out the other side but this is absolutely gorgeous these are my favorite pages I need to pull in a couple of these for my treasure journal I have a I have a rose one. I had a tree and lawn one. I had a perennial one. This one I think is yep the perennials. I had the annuals one because I didn't have this one. I know I don't have that one because it's yellow on the inside. Plus there's lilies. How gorgeous is that? I think mean, I'll make. Oh, you know what I should do? I should use one of these covers and make it a writing board um, for my soft junk journals. And I think that would be a gorgeous one to do it with. All right. Now, on to the special books. Oh, I only have a few left. Sorry for the long video. Hope you grab yourself a cup of coffee. Um, I don't want to show the receipt, but um, this is a Dutch book, and um, these are just a couple of pieces that I was able to take. It's from the Old Book Nook, and it is in Sheridan, Wyoming. Um, the lady in there is such a sweet lady. Her name's Vi, um, and I go every time I go to Sheridan, I have to stop in there. And this was free, so it's a nice little. Mm, God answering prayer book, but it's it's really old. I don't know what year, but super cute. So this Dutch book, so her books are like very vintage, very a beautiful selection in there. We spent almost two hours looking at her store. So this was originally forty nine cents, and I don't know what um I don't know what she charged me for this. I don't know if it's going to tell me on here because she writes down her numbers and then adds them up. So I don't know. I don't know which book was what, um, but I can tell you the cheapest book was $5. So this one here was probably $5. Um, and it's in German, which is super exciting because I got more German papers, Elke. And I'm assuming that these aren't going to be bad. Um, <laughs> bad words. Because it looks like it's a lesson, so it must be a learning book. So that was fun. Also, I got another Thomas Kincaid. I know, I know. But I'm not going to use this one for junk drawing. I'm going to read it. So this is The Christmas Angel. This will be my Christmas book this year. It is Thomas Kincaid and Catherine Spencer. I read another one last year um, by by the same author in Cape Light. Really fun. Um, there's Lillian and a Luke in that book. I saw those are those are really fun old names. This one looks like we have a Sophie, a Lee, um, Grace, like just just such fun books. So I won't I won't tear these up. This is for reading. Off to the side it goes. All right. And then, oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. Look at this. This one was $8. It's a Victorian Book of Days by Avon. This is the cover for it. Isn't that just special? Oh my gosh. And then there's some gorgeous, I know I don't like people, but I like old ladies. Not like old ladies, but the older <laughs> dressing style. I love this. I love this so much. And they're all in color. Maybe not that one so much, but they all have an edging with the day. So you could still journal in here because it is a calendar. See that? Romantic advice to our readers. We're going to pass that over. Um, but yeah, just some Valentine's Day. Really, really pretty. Look, they're ice skating. That would be a good Christmas one. Let's, in fact, let's just pop over here to Christmas because I didn't even look. October, November, and the ball. Look, they're dancing. Oh, I didn't know Avon made such nice stuff <laughs> like this. The Christmas party. See, so cute. I just love, I love that. 
I love the, the borders. So that was worth it to me. I, I splurged. I splurged. Um, yep, I did. All right. Next up, I have this beautiful book here. This one's I got a, quite a bit of water damage to the front cover, but it is foiled. It says treasure thoughts for today, tomorrow, and always. And this one was $5 because it was damaged. And it does have a little bit of ickiness in here so I have to I have to get rid of that but it says Merry Christmas mother um from Bo and Bobby but yeah um it's really pretty but I gotta get rid of the the old water because I'm sure that's mold um so I don't want to like fluff it around too much but I I had to get it because I love the text in here it's like this is green, this is in green, there's beauty and life in the categories and their quotes in youth. And so once you get to the back of the book, there's nothing, nothing icky, but in the front it was a little bit icky. And then kind of back here, but yep, that one, that one's got to go upstairs and get handled. <laughs> okay, so the last one from the bookstore that was a treasure was this one, Imperial Album of London Views. And I really like castles and England and I just got done watching The Crown on Netflix and this is a picture book. This was $10. This was the biggest most expensive one that I got and they're just all big photos like this. They're all in black and white or sepia and then on the backs they're blank but it, look at that. It's just amazing to me. Um, just the original splattery. <laughs> Uh, so this is the Bank of England, and there's some that go the other direction and cheap side. Oh, even my daughter was looking at this while I was, look at the House of Commons, and then we found the other one in front of it is the House of Lords. And so this is where they would have their church service, and you can see how much more extravagant the Lord's House is versus the Commons. Um, but I just, I really like this stuff. Really like this stuff. So this is a treasure book. So some of these favorite pages, Buckingham Palace. Oh! I get to go into my book. Um, okay, now the one that I got from eBay, last little special, is this record book. I tried to win a different one, and I actually lost, and it was from Montana, and I was really bummed out. So I got this one. And this one it was $1.19 back in the day, and it's old ledger paper, and there's 100 pages, and they are empty. They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to, to have even this in my collection. So fun. The, the few of the front pages are wrote in and it was this lady was keeping track of when people started working for her, I'm assuming. And she wrote in a red pen and it was really cute. Charles Speed started in 1959. Jimmy started in 1950. Um, and so I just thought that was kind of a cute little thing. Um, 1959 I think let's see on the very first page oh it just says Ray with no start date and Nadine I just love old handwriting so anyways that is my haul guys I hope you enjoyed hope you found some stuff maybe you have never seen before because I sure did and I had a blast thanks so much for watching we'll talk to y'all really soon Bye bye